the 2014 North Carolina AFM released test question number 11. The, uh, the equation y equals 4.7x to the 1 6th is graphed on the coordinate plane. How does increasing the denominator of the exponent transform the graph? The exponent being the 1 6th, the, the denominator being the 6. So what happens to the graph if we change it from 6 to something greater than that? So I already have 4.7 times x to the 1 6th. Uh, written in my equation screen and when I graph it you can see what that looks like. It looks like we're uh, approaching a uh, horizontal asymptote. Now um, if we go back to the equation screen 4.7 times x to the power of One tenth. We'll make that since 10 is greater than 6. And we'll graph that as well. And as you can see, the new one uh, also approaches a horizontal asymptote, a little less than uh, the first one. And so uh, if you look at the answers, uh, A and B uh, are not correct because they both say that the Transformed graph will approach a horizontal asymptote while the original will not, or I, or the other way around, will not approach a horizontal asymptote while the original will, but they both approach horizontal asymptotes. Uh, so the question is, based on the last two answers, the transformed graph will go to infinity slower, or the transformed graph will go to infinity faster than the original graph. Well, the original graph was to the one-sixth, and that is the one to the higher horizontal asymptote. So the transformed graph, which is the second one we did, will go to infinity slower than the original graph as the value of x gets larger. And that makes sense because when we say to the power of 1 sixth, that's the sixth root. And so if we go to uh, a larger number than 6, then that's uh, another uh, root. So if we go from, say, 1 6th to 1 7th, we're going from the 6th root to the 7th root. So that number would have to be smaller. So, uh, so, that, so C is what makes sense.